Greetings spiritual seekers and welcome back to Kim's Astrology Guide. This time uh, in my journey through the signs I'm talking about Taurus and rather fittingly I'm looking very natural today. It wasn't intentional but I'm not wearing any makeup, I've not even shaved, not that you can tell from just one day of not shaving. But uh, yeah, Taurus likes things natural. Um, Taurus is the second sign of the zodiac um, and is, is fixed earth. Um, after the burst of energy of Aries uh, that started off uh, the new cycle of change um, starts us off on the journey through the zodiac signs we then have um, Taurus um, after the burst of energy we grow and we build hence its earth which is very practical um, matters and its uh, fixed which is very you know, well, fixed <laughs> um, very about preserving things as they are. So we have a very solid foundation kind of sign as the second sign of the zodiac because what began with Aries we now build and make solid. Um, it's the sign obviously because of the sun's journey through the signs associated with kind of mid-spring which is late April, early May um, and um, when and, and this goes for the other planetary objects as well when they go into Taurus, um, often the burst of, of beginning change that starts a new cycle off, very exciting, um, comes into a sort of a, a kind of calm down and comes into a steady state when, when, a, when a planet enters Taurus. Um, Taurians are very patient. Um, they are prepared to wait for things. They are prepared to take a long time to get to things. Um, very, but the, on the negative side, can be quite stubborn and slow to change their opinions about things. Um, Taurus is a very central sign and likes naturey things. Um, very, but sort of practical and conservative in a way. Um, one of the more introverted, calm and quiet kind of signs, and not in the way that some signs might be introverted and full of inner moodiness and emotion and sensitivity and, and you know. Um, Taurus is very calm and practical. Taurus also likes their kind of creature comforts, their possessions, their home, um, money in the bank, <laughs> um, and stereotypically food uh, as well, which makes sense with the kind of uh, sensual making of sensory experiences side of Taurus, and uh, um, and it's a, it's a sort of a possession, it's a sort of a material thing that you can have. Um, I mean food is often associated with comfort and wealth to people anyway so um, yeah I, th I think that's the main traits of Taurus. Um, Taurians are very calm and slow to anger although when they get angry they can really blow but it takes a long time to get them there. Um, Mostly this is a slow moving, calm, stable, very dependable and somewhat stubborn sign. Obviously the exact nature of the Taurus personality will come out in different ways depending on what planets or angles you have in Taurus. Um, if you have Taurus rising, then it's going to be the first impression people get of you. So you're going to seem like a very stable, dependable um, calm, stubborn kind of person. Um, when you, possibly with Taurus because it affects the appearance and stuff, maybe a slightly bigger set uh, person. Um, but uh, very down to earth and practical. Um, if it's your sun sign, it's less the kind of immediate impression people get of you or anything to do with your appearance as, as such, but it's going to be your general persona and outlook on life, your general spirit, your values, uh, what you're aiming towards in life. That's what the sun sign is. The moon, Taurus moon, um, will have very calm, stable emotions. Um, and probably because of moons associated with home and the family, even more of that kind of needing your creature comforts around you and needing that, that 
you know, strong bonds with your family, with your spouse or partner or whatever, and be very cuddly and sensitive um, in private. Venus and Mars affect your romance and sexual needs, romantic and sexual needs, really. Um, and um, so, yeah, you'll need that dependable long term partner. Um, that's what you'll be looking for. Um, very slow to make a decision, but when you've made that decision to be with that person, you'll want to stick with them for life. Um, that those things will tend to come out in, in Venus and Mars placements of Taurus, I guess, with your sexual or romantic partner. Now, I have Taurus, I have Mars in Taurus. Um, so, things I identify with regards to Mars Taurus placement is that, I mean, I'm not necessarily looking for long, long term relationships. I can get a bit scared but about that. <laughs> with Mars, it's less about the romance anyway, it's more about the sex. Um, I am quite, I am polyamorous and I also, certainly in a monogamous context, get very uh, scared by the idea of it being forever. Um, so maybe not in that way, but things I associate with my nature that uh, I put down to Mars, my Mars being in Taurus, is that I am very sensual and very cuddly and affectionate when it comes to romantic and sexual partners, and that my sex drive, <laughs> it takes me a long time to get aroused. It can be a bit hard work to get me there, but when I'm there, I'm there. Uh, <laughs> these I associate with my ta Taurus Mars sign. Um, I mean, Mars isn't just sex, it's also how you deal with anger. And this is probably why that despite my Aries moon, that makes me want to hit, hit objects or rage and shout when um, I lose something or something's not working or I hit my head um, <laughs> on something. Um, when it comes to people, I am very slow to, to lose my temper. In fact, I pretty much never do. Um, and I let people treat me like shit sometimes. And I, I just, it doesn't, I, I don't get angry at people very often. But it can happen, and when it happens, it can be quite scary. Um, but you really have to push me to get me to that point. Um, so, yeah. Um, so that's Taurus. I, I think Uranus at the moment is in Taurus. Um, which is probably why all of we're seeing a bit of a backlash and a bit of a conservative return to conservative values after the big burst of visibility and, and energy that happened when Uranus entered Aries around 2011. Uh, around about 2018, actually, Uranus entered Taurus, and um, yeah, there seems to have definitely been a, a calming down in regard to all this social revolutionary kind of stuff that seemed to be going on. When, when Uranus was in Aries around gender and stuff. I mean, these are still very much issues. We're still on that cycle, that paradigm shift, but um, we've, we've, there's a calming down and a waiting period, really, now. Um, for when Uranus enters Gemini, that's the big communicator, so it's all going <laughs> to... And probably, you know, new ideas will be communicated even better than, um, than they were when Uranus was in Aries. But yeah, Taurus is a bit of a stable, conservative kind of sign, so it does send a temper any revolutionary feelings uh, when Uranus is in Taurus. Um, when Jupiter enters Taurus, but, uh, that's, I often look at popular music and, and things like that when it comes to Jupiter cycles, because that 12 year cycle seems to be the cycle of reinvigoration and uh, um, energy and creativity in, in terms of popular culture. Um, we often see Taurus years, like 64, 76, 88, um, 2000. Um, we often see the, 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 the new things that started when uh, David entered Aries in the year before. Often we see a kind of marketing, cashing in on it thing happening in, when Jupiter's in Taurus. Uh, which, you know, like I said, Taurus is associated with money and possessions and creature comforts anyway. Um, and is a very practical kind of conservative sort of sign in some ways. And when I say the Taurians are kind of conservative and stuff, um, obviously that's a typical Taurian. Um, depending on other placements in the chart, of course, it may be more complicated than that. Um, I've known many Taurian people of Taurus sun signs. I mean, usually when you meet people, you don't have all of their birth details, so the sun signs is all you know about them. 
Uh, I've met, known many Torians over the years, and I have been in relationships with Torians, you know, people of Taurus sun sign. Uh, my wife, my ex-wife, uh, she was a Taurus, and um, I'm currently getting to know uh, a Taurus <laughs> very intimately at the moment. Um, they are very dependable signs, they're always there for you, and I appreciate that about them. That is the one thing about Taurus, very dependable. Um, and they're not always super practical, though often that's in there somewhere, but like I said, the sun sign is just one thing. There are other sign placements, that, um, uh, other planetary placements that will affect personality in different ways. Um, but, yeah, I like Taurians. They tend to be very dependable people. You always know they're going to be there for you, and they are loyal and, and somewhat honest people, yeah. Um, stable, um, and calming. They do have a calming influence. Um, not the most exciting of signs, <laughs> but, um, but very nice people. Next time, I'll be talking about the great communicator, um, and really difficult to pin down many complicated different things at once kind of, uh, sign of, uh, of Gemini. Um, a real mental, fast mental communicative kind of sign. Um, and yes, as I've said before many times, I'm going through the signs and then I'll go to, through the uh, planets and then I'll go through the houses. So, thanks for watching and uh, be good to each other. So good time.